Tom Thompson uh, was by far my favorite uh, Canadian painter. Um, I had seen his work at the AGO and uh, had been exposed to icons like West Wind and The Lone Pine. Uh, but some of my favorite paintings of his were the small paintings he would do in situ uh, on 8x10 boards. And there was an immediacy to them and a sense of color and the flattening of the image plane and, and the abstraction that he was able to get in those small paintings uh, on site were, were remarkable. Uh, I, I often go there and look at them and get a lot of inspiration from them. Um, I think also with Tom Thompson, there's a mystery to him as well, the fact that um, he was lost in, in Algonquin Park and Canoe Lake uh, while canoeing. Um, and anybody who's actually uh, spent time up there or canoed there themselves can understand how someone might get in trouble and the kind of trouble that can actually cause their death when the storms flare up in, in those areas. Um, but I think also at the same time with um, his fantastic career, uh, fantastic output and then the shortening of his career in this mysterious death, I think it's also added another um, weight or another, uh, uh, some gravity to the work as well that, that not a lot of it was done and we often wonder what he would have uh, produced had he, had he had a full career. So on, on those levels, I think Tom Thompson is certainly an icon in the Canadian art um, establishment.